Father Silos, if ever I needed your intercession, it's now. The Mississippi River winds on long, like this journey and my stories. I'd like to share a story with you that happened in the wilds of this country. When I was in Cumberland a few years ago, there was a Protestant man from the mountains there who wanted to have both of his children baptized by a Catholic priest. He lived in the woods and his whole occupation was hunting. And this first sacrament of baptism comes to us from a man who lived on honey and locusts in the wilderness. You hear that, Mary? A holy man just like me. Who's he talking about, Henry? Johann the Baptist. He poured water over the Lord's head in the river and a great light came from the sky. That's why we get baptized, so we can be like Jesus. Oh, baptized. Listen, why don't you want to become a Catholic? You know so much already. I don't want to become a Catholic. I just want you to baptize my two children. At the end of our discussion, he pressed my hand amid tears and decided to come with me to the church then and there. A few weeks later, he decided to go the same way as his children. Really, a complete change took place in the man. A change not only interiorly, but exteriorly, visible in his face. Father, please, sit down. I have thought about the many ways that I can repay you in my poverty for your kindness to me. And one thing I can afford to do is to wash your feet like Jesus did. Oh, oh, Mr. Herpel, that, that will not be necessary. We all know how important your newfound faith is to you and see that, but Father Silos, please let me do this thing to express my thanks. I prepared this bowl with water. Thank you, Father Silos, for all your kindnesses to me and my family these past months. And sometimes, great physical brokenness can be tamed and mended by deep faith in the divine physician. Oh, Father Silos, I've been out again all day, tending to the sick. The wound in my knee from childhood has returned strong as ever. Will you intercede for me? I'm trying my best to serve the dying souls and need my legs to do so. Oh, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father Silos. Last stop, our final destination, New Orleans. Everybody off. I've made the rounds of all the houses in the province. Only New Orleans yet remains. I feel I have traveled enough. I shall never leave here. <laughs> <laughs>